Good morning. Thank y'all. What a fun way to enter into worship this morning. I know that we've got a few folks who are out on vacation this week and out of town for the holidays. We've got some folks who are here for the holidays who um, we welcome this morning. And so we've just got a good kind of roundabout crew. We've got um, some youth, I think, and the jesters who are also down helping get um, our lunch ready um, for our Thanksgiving feast after worship today. So um, we may have some different folks in and out, and that is okay. 
Um, I want to say just a special word of welcome if you're worshiping with us for the first time. We are so glad that you are here. Um, I hope that you will take a moment, grab a bulletin if you didn't get one. Um, Ricky can bring you one. Um, there's a place to register your attendance. Let us know who you are. And also for everyone, if you um, will let us know any prayer joys or concerns that you might have. Um, and as always, you have the ability to say how widely you want that publicized, whether you want it to stay confidential with me or our prayer team or to the larger praying community of Cout. Um, if you're worshiping with us online, a special word of welcome to you um, this Sunday. We are so glad that you are here worshiping with us. You, um, you are a part of this worshiping community, and I hope that you will take a moment to check in with one another, say hello, see how everyone is. If you have something you would like the group to pray for, you can share that there in your chat as well. Um, Mar is running both online and slides, so she may not be right there immediately, but she's got both computer screens right in front of her, and she is good to go. Um, this morning, um, we celebrate Christ the King Sunday. It's the last Sunday of the Christian year, um, and yet our text, we know so much about um, kingly Jesus that we worship a King Jesus who is not what you would expect of a king, correct? Um, and so we'll be talking about that today as we look at our scripture. It's Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 through 46. If you want to um, have that ready in your pew Bible, you're welcome to do that. We're going to pause for a moment and just take a deep breath to breathe in God's presence, God's Holy Spirit here with us, and to breathe out all those things that keep us from centering our worship on God. We breathe in. We breathe out. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks this morning. We give you thanks for the rain that is falling, even if it gets us a little bit wet as we're coming in. We give you thanks for this community with whom we can worship. We give you thanks for this week in which we pay attention to things. And we give you thanks for Jesus. We pray that you will receive our worship as it is intended, all for you. We pray all of this in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Uh, Cindy is playing piano for us this morning, so we're all kind of jumping in and helping out. Would you please stand for the call to worship? First of all, we're going to start off with our, our scripture today. Today is Christ the King Sunday, and as we know, Christ the King, our king was not a normal king. He was not, uh, he did not rule by brute force, but he was caring and loved all of us, and still loves all of us. This scripture is Psalm 24, verses 7 through 10 from the NIV version. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the King of glory. Will you join us in our first song today? Um, also, this is the last Sunday for the liturgical calendar. Uh, it's King of Kings Sunday. Next Sunday begins Advent. All right, our first song today is Come Thou Fount, Come Thou King. 